Life with Elise. Thank you for watching. Life with Elise. Life with Elise. Share my world. Share my world. Good morning, guys. How are you? How are you? Yes, yes. It's me, Elise. Just on my way to work again. Gotta close the window so we can get some of that noise out. Um, I can't get the um, sun out. That's just God's direction. His glory shining over us. So, quickly, um, today we are talking about repent. It is repent time for all of us. And there's two things, you know, because a lot of us as women and men of God, we um, feel that we don't have to repent. But some of us, we need to get the revelation. Um, we fall short daily. Um, don't let the sun go down without repenting unto God, you know. And if so happen, he does wake you up. Um, repent unto him. You know, we say things, do things that are not pleasing to God. And we need to repent. We need to repent for... Oops, there I go again. Dropping it. Uh, we need to repent um, for the things that we do and say. And even our thoughts. That's our biggest sin. Um, a lot of us can admit that we sit and we let our minds um, just go. Just flow. Without any type of filter. It just goes but today we can repent today we can um loose ourselves from the strongholds that have held us back um from reaping god's rewards let's um just give it over to god and then for those who have been going on just going about their own little business not um having a conscious mind of what they're doing or saying it's not too late for you. God wants you to repent too. God says, repent unto me. God says to come unto me. The word told us that God never leaves us nor forsake us. So in all our mess, God is always there. It's just us. We shut him out because we want to do what we want to do. But it is time for us to get on the right path. It's time for us to walk accordingly to God. We can no longer try to do this our way, the world's way. We have to do it according to God. So I tell you today, repenting is change. It's a change. It's a choosing from the world way, your way, which is the life of sin, which is the wrong way, to choosing God's way, which is all in the word of God. And all you have to do is accept his son, his only begotten son, as your personal savior. How about that? It's so easy. And then a lot of us, you know, don't want to um, give over onto the things of God. It's because we don't like um, rules. We don't want to follow rules. We want to do what we want to do. But I'm here to tell you, all of us need some type of guidance. And why not have the best guidance from the man above? I choose God today. Stop looking back, ladies and gents. Stop looking over your shoulders and worrying about um, what happened yesterday. Today is a new day. And then stop planning ahead. If God is ordering your footsteps or you would like him to order your footsteps, then you can't plan anything. You have to consult God on the way that you need to go. I'm telling you, it's a good thing. I used to look back. I used to worry about things, but I started getting into the word of God. I started going to hear the word about the word of God on a consistent. And when I got that word on the inside of me and it started um, outlining my heart and then penetrating my heart. And then now my heart is just full of the things of the Lord. That's what helps what comes out of my mouth. And then I can sing those psalms and those praises and I can walk in the example of the Lord. I'm telling you, will you join me? Will you repent today? Will you give it over to God today and just allow the things of God in your life? Get his word, read his word, align it with your life. All your life situations are right there in the word of God. And that's all you need to do is get God's word. Will you do that with me? I dare you to um, repent 
for all the things that you've said and done, for even your thoughts. I dare you to do that. Let's do that today. It's repent time. I love you guys. That's all I wanted to share. I just wanted to assure you that God is not going to leave us. But we have to do what's right. We have to live accordingly. We have to repent. And we have to strive daily. 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 So as you go to sleep and wake up, that's a new day. You didn't get it right. Try to get it right today. Repent and move on. Don't wake up and sin and continue into sin. Because guess what? You don't know when he's coming back. You don't know that day. And you don't want to get with your pants down. Get caught with your pants down. I'm telling you. Living for the Lord is awesome. Living for God is wonderful. I used to be just like you. I used to think that at least had it going on. Elise didn't have it going on. You know why? Because she didn't have God ordering her footsteps. But I repented, and God is ordering my footsteps. And oh my goodness, the journey that I'm on, I'm loving it. And don't get me wrong, there are some little potholes in the road. But that's only for God to remind you to trust Him. When you get to that pothole and some may fall in, trust God that he will pull you out. Trust God so you can tell someone, okay, Elise, I saw you fall in that hole. How did you get out? My God pulled me out. My God is awesome. I'm telling you, repent now. It's repent time. Have a good day. God bless you.